Today, September 24th, 2022, would have been Jim Henson's 85th birthday. And as would be his wish, we turn our thoughts to contemplate our collective lives on this infinitesimally small speck of rock, hurtling through a vast and unpredictable universe, and how to maintain and enlarge our fragile foothold on life within the cosmos. NASA's space shuttle program was one such effort, but with any endeavor to the very edge of human experience, there are risks. In January of 1986, shortly after liftoff, the space shuttle Challenger was tragically lost along with all crew on board. A crew that for a time was scheduled to include none other than Sesame Street's own Big Bird. For various reasons, Big Bird was pulled from the flight list, surviving to educate and entertain to this day. But NASA's DART mission to test redirecting planet killer asteroids via kinetic impact is just 48 hours away from its climax, and we are forced to consider which of Big Bird's international cousins would be best launched into space to protect us from asteroids. Could it be Abelardo, the green parrot from Mexico's Plaza Sesamil? Their large beak is adapted for cracking into hard nuts and might help break up space rocks. But NASA's target asteroid of Didymios is over a half mile across, and the experiment is all about transferring momentum. I should know, I have a certificate and everything. Perhaps then we should look to the reddish-orange Minik Kus from Turkey. They're already wearing a pilot scarf, so we can assume that they have other piloting protective equipment already. Or perhaps we should ask Popas, Portugal's resident educational bird. Although his wiki pages imply that he might try to make friends with the asteroids, which is again not within specified mission parameters. China's Danio may seem like a likely pick, but despite rapid developments over the past two decades, the Chinese National Space Administration seems reluctant to publicly demonstrate the heavy lifting rocket capabilities necessary to accelerate a big bird out of Earth's gravity well. Is it left to Pino then? Well, this instructional avian of the Netherlands traces his lineage back to penguins. And penguins, as you know, are water birds and therefore have little place being anywhere near the aerospace industry. So then it falls to Garibaldo, the frightening blue bird of enlightenment with his piercing red hooded yellow eyes who hails from Vila Sesamo in Brazil. Big Bird says, quote, he may look scary, but he's one of the nicest birds I know. And with a ringing endorsement like that from the only Muppet seriously considered for orbital spaceflight, we know that Garibaldo will get the job done with a smile and bring it all home. Is that, is that returning to Earth isn't part of the DART mission? Okay. Well, in that case, we've settled on using the nightmare inducing variant for cosmic billiard testing, which is just fine with me. And remember, in space, it is alive. So something is going to happen. From near and far, young and old, people of every shape, ability, and gender, welcome to Loading Ready Live. Today on the show, Paul and his expert panel attempt to connect to an AI on a deeply emotional level on stable diffusion confusion. We roll up our sleeves and plan the most ambitious crossover ever. And then, adventures in Ardia help us solve the age-old question, what's for dinner on Roll for Sandwich? Beej wasn't around to write the fly-through this week, so James took care of it. Now I understand, hashtag blame James. All this and more on Loading Ready Live, starting right now. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Loading Ready Live. And James is on tech, in fact. Ooh. So, you know, there's lots of going to be lots of reasons to blame James. Or praise James. Ooh. Ooh, I like A that. A novelty. I like that new hashtag. <laughs> 
Hey everybody, welcome to Loading Ready Live and to our first segment here, Stable Diffusion Confusion. For those of you who don't know, Stable uh, Diffusion is the name of one of the uh, more interesting um, automatic uh, or AI uh, image generation systems. Hmm. Um, there's, you know, the DALI and a few others. The cool thing about Stable Diffusion is that it is uh, designed in such a way that it can be run on, uh, like, a home computer mm -hmm. Hmm. on your graphics card and stuff. It doesn't need to be run up in the cloud like the DALI system does. Right, right. Uh, and so uh, I was uh, able to, I was uh, contacted by some uh, wonderful chat folks who had this all set up. And we uh, discussed a bunch of things and got uh, a um, figured out a quiz that we could do using the stable diffusion uh, system. So what we're going to do here is uh, we've got our three contestants, and they're going to be trying to guess what uh, what the stable diffusion system is trying to uh, present. I should, I guess. What what concept? What uh, what idea is it trying to present to uh, to the, the panel? And we're going to do it uh, in increasing order or increasing difficulty. I'm going to show the each question is going to have three images. I'm going to show one image, and then you know show one, two, and three, mm -hmm. and uh, you get more points the earlier you buzz in. Uh, so let's let's give this a shot. I am going to hide chat. <laughs> because uh, you know, Chad is too ge too too genius. I'm excited to try and mind read a computer. Mm. Uh, so here we go. Will I dream? Uh, hopefully, this <laughs> will. Uh, we'll we'll do the first one here. So see if you can figure out what the uh, system is trying to present. Starting with this image. Camel. <laughs> Uh, no. <laughs> that is incorrect. What? Egypt. That is not correct. No. Well, how about this? Oh. Does this help? Two cables. <laughs> it's only got one hump, though. It's facing both ways. Mm. I want to try and score some points here, so I'm holding off on my guess here. I feel I'm, like only gonna get one I'm only going to get one point if I get it on the last image, but I still want those points. I feel like a camel that looks both ways is like some sort of proverb. Yeah. Yeah, a, a Janus right. camel. Does this help? A Camus. <gasps> what do these three images together indicate? Ian. I want to say Pearl 6, but that's not right. So I'm going to say Camel Up Super Cup. You are correct! Aha! <laughs> camels, two camels put together, and like then they do, and it's a camel race. Maybe a race? <laughs> Could also be Pearl 6. Hopefully, hopefully that gives, that started to get an idea of what kind, how this is going to be working here. <laughs> Fine. Not Camel. Camel <laughs> Up. Camel up and just the concept of camels in general is a very different idea. No. <laughs> Here's the next one. Ooh. What what is this what idea is this trying to present? I don't know why it decided to generate this as like a grid of things, but it did. That that gives me some information that I didn't have before, so it's not supposed to be a comic strip in and of itself, then maybe. But what if it is? Mm. I think you should buzz in right now with comic strip, and then we'll get some information. <laughs> All right, nobody? Here we go. Second, second picture. Aww. All right, Ian? Canadian comedy group loading ready run. That is very close. <laughs> that is very close. Half points if no one else gets it. Okay. Well, let's go. Third and third picture. I 
think they're trying to communicate. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Road quest. Yes. <sighs> Says mm. road quest. I believe uh, the entire prompt was like Canadian comedy troupe going on a road trip <laughs> or some some sort of thing like that. Huh. Yeah. The, the, the second image I find particularly, it's just like... Yeah, that's us. But I, but like the closer you look at the faces, the more like, wait, that doesn't look right. Yeah, that's us. Yeah. I, I think it's the, the, the top image of the... F the top center image of the far left image that really sells the Canadian aspect. Mm, mm. All right. Next. Okay. Oatmeal with dinosaur eggs in it. That's no. <laughs> oh. I was on your side there. I love that. What? <laughs> it's like the AI is hungry. Is that? <laughs> <laughs> Never wrote the prompts. We Dino know a person was involved in this. Dino soup. Anything? No. Hard mm -hmm. on the first image like that. I, All need, right. I think I need something to jump. Oh. Second man. image. No. I've had that dream. Should have looked up what it meant. Yeah. 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 Yeah, now I'm very confused because we're going straight from dinosaurs to wood nymph with a lot of mushrooms. This is not necessarily like one the, one prompt generated all these images. Mm -hmm. Oh, this okay. is a concept that is trying to be. All right, we're gonna go for the third. Third image. Yeah, I can see how it's not oatmeal now. <laughs> yeah? Reptile feeding time. No. Ah. Uh. Super Mario Brothers. You are correct! Dinosaur princess with mushrooms. And a uh, guy in overalls bothering a turtle. Oh! <laughs> this is the textbook definition of bothering or interfering. I think that turtle I guess. only has like front legs. But that I man don't think has three legs. three legs. Yeah, the man has three legs. Sure, he does. God, that's that is an album cover from The Offspring if I've ever seen one. Uh, all right, next one. Hmm. That's a good album cover right there. Yeah. We should just get rid of artists. Like, stable diffusion can do anything. Oh, I, mm. I can tell you all things that are wrong with that particular rendering of a parrot, but this Big is not Big bird that dying on Space Shuttle Challenger. <laughs> One of the weird things... Should have buzzed in. It always should have. It always does square images. Hmm. And sometimes things are, like, weirdly cropped. It's like, couldn't we make it bigger and don't crop out parts? Hmm. It's not mm -hmm. cropped, it's just transparent beyond the edges. Mm. Nothing? Not on that one, no. I, I right. need a reference point. Does this help? Maybe. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I think we're going for something star or cosmic here. No? Yeah, I want the third no? image. All right, third image. Which appears to not be loading for some reason. Are oh, we in the third image right now? How, how would you describe to a computer what there the... Okay, there we go. Oh, no. Disney's Aladdin. You're correct. Parrot and freaky thing. <laughs> <laughs> that's Genie. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's how I remember Genie. Mm -hmm. You ain't never had a friend. <laughs> Diamonds I'm in the rough. Gonna keep seeing? Yeah. Nope, I'm not seeing anymore. That's it. That's the end of the song. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> okay, okay. okay this is a different this movie. This is not a space parrot. No, no. Mm -hmm. It's the green parrot. So it's Rio and not. Mm -hmm. I like All right. It. 
That bird is both inside and outside the cage. Stop looking at Hootie like that. <laughs> uh, do, 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 do. Second picture. Hopefully, whoa. Look. Green bird in a cage. Green bird out of cage. <laughs> green bird given lots of money. I also like that that bird appears to be sitting on top of what I think is a bioreactor. Or possibly a Le Creuset Dutch oven. <laughs> I mean, d depending on how much wow. time you leave your uh, your Dutch oven in the oven, it might just turn into both. Sorry, uh, James, could you refresh the slide source? Refreshed. Green. Not loading the... Why is it not loading the image? So we'll get like infinity points if we guess this. Mm -hmm. Apparently so. Why would I show someone a picture of a parrot to communicate anything? All right, well, I, maybe we can go to the third one. Is it just not loading anything anymore? That would be a shame. Hmm. Uh, sorry. Uh, can you open up the yeah, thing? It should be just on the, uh, on the... I, I right. see it, and I see you moving the things around. And it's not changing it. Yeah. Like, Australia. I can do it. That doesn't do mm. anything. I'm going to try to go to the next one. Pickles. And now it's just blank. Pickles. Yeah. Uh, that is interesting and odd. Uh, sorry. One... One second. No worries. Mm -hmm. well, I'm actually All right, Brain, we can do this. <laughs> like, at what point do symbols uh, become meaning? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I mean, there's, there's probably an interesting essay to be written on semiotics in this entire thing. Bird. Hmm. Ah! Ah! <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. Let's just go for the three images. Okay. What do these three images say to you? Is this Disney's classic, The Three Caballeros? No. Hmm. Hunchback of Notre Dame. Nope. Maybe it's another board game. Warhammer. Monty Python. I was, uh, <laughs> I was like wanting to say it, Parrot, but I doubted myself. Parrot, silly Parrot walk, sketch, silly walks, uh, and yeah. the Spanish Inquisition. Oh, silly walks, yeah. Yep. All it's right. a Norwegian blue. Here we go. Okay. The cranberries. No. <laughs> Good. If you had gotten though. that, that would have been legendary. <laughs> Rip Francis. All right. Ah. Mm-hmm. Zombies. What's the third color going to be? Zombies. This. I, I wanna... don't know. I don't know the wedges. <laughs> yeah. What I like about this is that it's got it's got kind of the, the like uh, uh, you know Dixit Mysterium thing where like what's the important part of this image? Okay, I'm seeing I'm seeing right now. Dig through the ditches. <laughs> burn burn through, through the, the witches. Are you gonna slam in the back of a Dracula? I hope so. It is not Rob Zombie <laughs> or Dracula. I'm sorry. Third image. Command tower. So what what can you cast with these three lands? I mm, mm. like it's not an angel's deck. It is not I, a magic the gathering thing. No. I'll tell you that. Oh. Oh. I already burned my gas. Right I could just pretend that I know what it is, <laughs> even though it's 
This is killing me. Very well known. <laughs> is it? Uh-huh. Is it? Three, two, uh, Minecraft <laughs> is the end. Minecraft. Zombies, lava, Lupa, towers. towers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, all right. Time bandits. The 1990 sequel, mm. Hellraiser 2 Hellbound. Mm. Okay. Labyrinth or maze? Complications. We're not going to find out if it's a labyrinth or a maze until we get more information. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at out here. Are there puppets? All right. Mm -hmm. Next image. Nold tools. Layout. Drafting? Drafting design. And we can't find it. Design. It's not gonna be gra it's not gonna be Minecraft again. <laughs> no. It is not Minecraft also. Mm. Mm. People in chat have got it locked in. Tool assisted speedrun. <laughs> no. Oh. I like that though. Mm. But no. Mm. All right, third image. Ikea? Yes, it is Ikea. <laughs> yeah? Okay. Building yeah. Known, known for being rather maze-like mm -hmm. tools and, and nice design. It's what I like about these is that it's like when you see all three and figure it, it's like, oh yeah, yeah, that, that, that makes sense. How about this one? <laughs> You're into custom keyboards. I, yeah, I am. I do enjoy a good custom keyboard. I, somebody has customized that keyboard wrongly. <laughs> I feel like the, the profile of those keycaps is DSA. <laughs> uh, all right, here's the second. Second image. Uh, Camera. Streaming video games. I'm gonna call. I say it, it is Twitch. Is that uh, is what is the idea uh, being presented? I'm gonna call that good. Yeah. You've got that. Hold this, on. Wow. Hold on. This was the. Third. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would not have got that from that. <laughs> Just take out my teeth here while I stream. All right. Oh God, that's gonna happen, isn't it? I'm gonna still gonna be working on Twitch when I'm 80. Um, okay, I. I feel like this one's gonna come together just by that front image. Jorge Luis Borges, the Library of Babel. Library of Alexandria. Take a look. It's in a book, The Reading Rainbow. The right. concept of information. Second teeth image. box. <laughs> box of pain. Put hand in teeth box. Why is teeth box getting closer to me? <laughs> no. Teeth box loves fingies. Put your hands in the box, Cameron. Oh. No, I, I, I'm not going to be able to do it from two. I'm going to need the third. Third image. Jorts. <laughs> I like that you called that, like, it's such a close... <laughs> what makes you think that's jorts? You look very distressed. Mm. <laughs> okay, this is... We've got library, we've got uh, consumption, uh, an organic mouth, and we've got genes. This is the, uh, th this is the concept of encoding information into... Uh, Cross generational genes. Is this Jenner? CRISPR? No. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're gonna find uh, out it's not DNA at all. Mm. Mobile phone. Naturally, oh. yes. 
the bad the bad I'm rectangle. Really talking and it fits in your pants. I was thinking iPod, but no, you're right. Took Very, the wrong kind of jeans. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah, if you had known those were jeans rather than jorts, would that have helped? <laughs> no. no. I'm just really glad that, 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 that uh, Johnny and I have left Apple before getting into his teeth face. <laughs> We've got like blonde, like a, a, sleeping, a, a happy. Me? Is it a me? Next image, please. Next image. Ooh, okay. There's a king. Gives you quests. His daughter's been kidnapped. And you're the hero of time. And All right. you get a horse. Third image. Horse. It's not a horse at all. Operation London Bridge. Oh. No. No. <clears throat> I don't know. I, I mean, I don't think so. I just. <laughs> <laughs> you, got a, you got a sleeping queen. You got a, a new king, and you got a uh, a bunch of oh. so angry some tomato man opening the mail. Angry people yeah. stuff. Um, uh, the death of the queen. <laughs> no. Okay, not topical at all. Uh. The concept of constitutional monarchy. No. No. I was so sure. Homestar Runner. Of course. A girl made out of marzipan. <laughs> A king. And, uh... A luchador answering email, answering mail. <laughs> Clearly, I could. How more, how much more obvious could you get? I mean, honestly, the idea of a luchador whose face is tomato that uses the leaf as a mustache is just top tier. Mm -hmm. but. Okay, so we're on a drug trip, and we're in a dance video, and it's colorful. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Random dance party. Yeah. No. Desert bus. No. Well, I've got all the time in the world. Yeah. Second image. Are we hacking the planet? This one of these is going to be a bar of soap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Third, all right image. third one. Oh! Is this the internet? Or is it the film Hackers? Or virtual reality? <laughs> the, the, technically, it's the metaverse. <laughs> I right. feel like the internet is probably... <laughs> Which exists on the internet. Yes. Hey, wait, I could answer the internet for any of this. <laughs> <laughs> because currently... <laughs> All right. Oh. Okay. Okay. Next. Tiny sackcloth girl. That is, that is an creepy doll. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Next Another image. Another creepy doll. Okay. A cat with a forelock. Green eyes. Maybe it's a pompadour. Like maybe it swoops back. Possibly. A flaccid pompadour. Meow meow meow. Mm -hmm. Meow 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 meow. It's a good cat. I like the cat. The whiskers seem to go forever. Hmm. Give me a third. All right. Doll, cat, spinning the wheel. Childhood. Middle age death. <laughs> Maiden mother crone. Yes. <laughs> we all begin life as a creepy doll and then become a cat and then become a Ferris wheel. So it's not that. No. <laughs> Gang beasts. On the right track, but no. Answer is Jackbox Party Pack. 
you're correct. Uh, <laughs> the uh, the doll from uh, murder. Mystery Murder Mystery yeah. Party, hmm. Cat, and the Wheel of Enormous Proportions. <sighs> wow. All right, last one. Mm. Not a parrot this time. No, no, that is a grebe a nest. Maybe a rabbit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good point. There's no way to tell. Nope. Especially since it's definitely missing some parts. Mm-hmm. It's at this point I question whether or not computers know what ducks are. <laughs> they don't. Uh, the magical world of Disney. No. Next image. That's a cat squid. Cat, cat, octopus, octopusy. James Bond films. Boom. <laughs> Could only be octopusy. Yeah. yeah. What's yeah, the lost. duck? Yes. Uh, golden Please. eye. Really? The eye of the duck is golden. Really. <laughs> Yep. That's, that's, that's... And the third movie is, uh, what? Drink martinis all day, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> the famous James Bond film. <laughs> Woo, martinis! <laughs> uh, I, uh, I want to, uh, give a big shout out to, um, uh, protected or, uh, 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 Terra, Terra Simorphy. Terra Spidermorphy? Yes. Mm. Mm. Oh. Uh, and uh, also uh, Aberdasher mm. were the, the ones who uh, uh, got generated those images. And uh, we, yeah, there, it, was, it was a lot of fun to discuss all the different ways that these weird images, <laughs> like all the different things that you can type into these things, mm. do it. It, it is very... Very I'm cool. gonna say when it comes back when it comes back to riddles, they'll bring back the Sphinx because the computer just does not quite have it yet. Well, I didn't see a problem. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Well, um, as you may know, it is uh, the uh, summer uh, equinox. Right. Autumnal oh, equinox, mm. I should say. Tunnel equinox just passed. And as is tradition around here, like we do every year, uh, when it is the autumnal equinox, we need to check in with Ceiling Egg and see how things are going.
All right. As the only creative executives in charge of Omni Media Corp, the monopoly that now owns every franchise known to media, it's up to us to decide what the new phase of our movies and series media branding is going to be. So, we've opened up all these trading cards of different licenses and IP that we now own. Mm -hmm. And we've shuffled it into this pile, and this is how we're going to decide what the new hits are going to be. Even though we don't know what's in this pile. All right. Okay. I figure we should start off. We'll start off. You know what? We'll do it. We'll do it like uh, we'll do one of those uh, series. We'll do like a limited series, prestige television, yeah, yeah. six episodes. We'll do a team up. All right. All right. All right. Okay. We'll do okay. two people. Okay. Uh, you know they've they've never seen these two people interact. But it's going to be great. They're not necessarily going to get along initially, but they're going to they're going to totally be on the same uh, page by the end of it. And it's going to be uh, Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins from The Shield, and Harmony the Purple Unicorn. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. okay. I've, been I've been waiting to get Harmony on the board. Yeah. Now that Roman Reigns is off doing his own thing, they need a third member for The Shield. This is going to be great. Uh, no, you just hook some Roman Reigns up on that, on the horse, there you go. Oh. We got a, se a shield sequel. Yep. Perfect. There we Perfect. go. Excellent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yep. a shield. Mm -hmm. Yep. Gonna love to see that. And, now, the real question is, though, who's the villain of this piece? Mm. Right? Mm. Well, I mean, I think we gotta start off, we, we gotta start, start off with a big bad that everyone can work to. Mm. And for that, we're gonna need, I'm gonna say, Bill Compton, who I believe was the original uh, writer of the encyclopedias. So what he's going to do, we're gonna, this is going to be a quest for Compton's encyclopedias, which are absolutely the most powerful MacGuffin in the universe at this time. So we got Roman Reigns, we got uh, the Unicorn, and they're all, they, they just found out about these encyclopedias. So they start reading them. And once they're done reading them, what do they find inside? What does that take them? The gift of knowledge. So wait, no, okay, 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 okay. So before the uh, the heroes, you know, as they're going through, do they have to like collect all of the the letters of the encyclopedia, like before they put it together? Like we got to you got to build the journey, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. before we get to the destination, mm -hmm. right? So like, what's what's the journey? Uh, are they trying to like they put them all together and then like? It's you know, collection. People love collection. That's things. true. That's mm. true. Mm. Perfect. Perfect. That works with merchandising yes, too. Yes, yes, mm. That's good. That's right. Good. So we're trying to collect the encyclopedias. Yes, yeah, but the encyclopedias, much like knowledge, are inside of us as people. So we got to hunt down other characters and find out what encyclopedias they got inside them. So at the end of episode six, mm -hmm. right when this is done, yeah, right post credit scene, who shows up? But. Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> Never saw that coming. No. No. Yeah. No. Nobody's no. going to see that coming. No. 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 People are going to lose it. Twitter's going to explode. Oh. People still use Twitter, right? Yep. No one's over there. People people, people still use Twitter. Well, it's all about the them. dancing, right? This is, yeah, this is gonna it's going to be TikTok dancing perfect thing. TikToks. Perfect. Oh, yes. yeah, we got this. Yeah, got this. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. We got to okay. get that this. TikTok crowd in there. Okay. That's really nice. So. This post credit scene, we got Napoleon Dynamite, we got TikTok and Twitter just going absolutely mm -hmm. nuts. Mm -hmm. And then we launch into a classic uh, enemies to lovers story with Napoleon Dynamite and the mask. Is Jim Carrey still available? Doesn't matter. It's, it's it makeup. Doesn't it's matter. Makeup. It's, it's makeup. makeup. That's a makeup. CGI. You got a mask. CGI. CGI. Yeah, we can CGI. Yeah. Absolutely like all of this. And, uh, you know, he's already dancing. They're dancing. Everybody's dancing. And it's going to be like this uh, kind of karate kid, oh. Cobra Kai, two different schools of dancing going against each other. And then at the end, uh, yeah, yeah. they kiss. They're unmovable. The point is, someone's got to stop them. I, well, I mean, wait, is this the Loki we bought? It's one of them. Okay. Yeah. Okay. One of them Lokis. Yeah, oh, this was well, Loki. It didn't, it I saw it on the it internet. Didn't, it didn't cost much. This was Loki free. Uh, but at the end, uh, with the Lokish. post. Lokish. Yeah, Lokish. Lokish. Yeah, Lokish. Yeah. Lokish. Yeah. Lokish. Lokish. It's nice. Post credit scene, after these two are just going at it like rabbits, what do we see? Pan out from the silhouette of them just 
just banging like carpenters. Well, he's, a, he's a cartoony boy. You get to see the spinning clock. Time goes forward. Absolutely. And what do you know? It's a new baby. So, yeah. Oh, hey, a new... Oh, I like that. Franchise. You're mm. thinking franchise. I like that. That's very good. And who do we see? The child... Valkrist from... What, who who bought this franchise? Was this you? Uh, I think it came in a case lot sale. Yeah, it might have been on a, on a, in a in a GOG bundle. Uh, have faith that you will find the answers you're looking for, it says here. You know what? We left this one to sit too much in development. This is my little mm -hmm. pony. They're all grown up. But I mean, like, this, this scans, right? Loki gives birth to a, 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 a horse. Well, of course, that's, in, that's just myth, North right? mythology. Yeah, that's, yeah, it's just yeah, North mythology. It's fact. You know what? People love time travel, right? Mm -hmm. People love time travel. I love time travel. I, yeah, do you like time travel? Really? I love yeah. You like time travel? That's too bad. This actually has alternate reality time travel. Yeah, the How's that? Oh, yeah. oh so, multiverse. Yeah, multiverse. So we go back in time and we retell all a game of, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's, not, uh, it's not My Little Pony, it's My Little Throny. We retell all a game of Thrones Star and Valkyrist, uh, and uh, Tigress from Kung Fu Panda, but the the sequel one, you know, where she's had some character development. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then they fight with a bunch of different kingdoms, you know? Uh, what do we think? Uh, series? Maybe, like, maybe, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're yeah, growing yeah. up in parallel throughout life. They're, they're destined to come together and duke it out to, for, for, for primal dominance, but right. through time we get to see them as they're growing up, as they're I like learning. that. So this is a yeah. friends to enemies are. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's good, that's good, that's good. And, who, and when they finally meet up, who's there to actually bring them together in the power? Well, it's none other than Fievel. He's journeyed to the West, people. He has, he has summoned the power of Son Goku, and he is abnormally powerful right now. Fievel goes Westeros. Perfect. This man's a genius. What, Get this man a raise. Yes. Okay, so we got... We can do that. We got the Kung I Fu got you. We got the Kung Fu Mucks. We got the... Woo! <laughs> we got the Pegasus. And they're all here in Westeros. Mm -hmm. Fighting for the throne. Yeah. Mm. And then an alien invasion. Yes. Why? Yes. The hell not. Led by... Kurt Angle. Now that's an angle. That is an angle. Olympic, angle. former Olympic the gold, gold medalist. medalist. Uh, Do you think we can afford him? Hall of Famer. Hall of Famer. Leading, leading an army of aliens out of the Milky Way. Man loves milk. Man loves yep. milk. Strongest bones in town. I've always been saying. We could probably do some kind of a sponsorship deal with the candy bar. Oh. Yeah, we could, especially because we own the candy bars. God, exactly. Yeah, we gonna, absolutely could. Gonna get the SF team on building a, a milk dimension for us. Now, who, who? We gotta, you know, we gotta get, we gotta get some more tie-ins. You know, at least like a couple of cameos. Are Fivel and Tigress strong enough to defeat Kurt Angle on their own? They might need allies. Mm -hmm. They might need allies. Who you got? Sarah Newland from True Blood. I assume I'm the only person at this table that's seen True Blood. Yeah, I've been on Tumblr a while, it didn't that's, really stick. I, I think that's factually accurate. <laughs> you might be the only person in this Twitch channel who's seen True Blood. That's fair, and I'm all right with that. That is definitely uh, on brand. So uh, she's very evangelical uh, and likes uh, giving hand jobs to people in bathtubs. Which is perfect, because that means that she is going to be that... the thing that no one sees coming when it's a betrayal. And it actually turns out that she is Drimpa, Dr wearing a <laughs> Sherry Newland skin. Dr Dr Drampa. Dr Drampa. Drampa. <laughs> with, the, with the corkscrew punch. Sorry, the kids love what they call it Drimpa, but it's Dr <laughs> Yeah, but Drampa. This could actually be a lead-in to the children's show that we've been talking about. Yes. Ooh. You know? Get them from the cradle to the grave. That's a good idea. Yeah, good idea. Cradle to grave. So, uh, I'm here, here, I'm, here I'm seeing Drampa the Grandpa. Mm -hmm. Now, who do we get for the grandkids? I mean... Oh. <laughs> Cruiserweight champion, the Brian Kendrick. And, oh. and Kalisto. The Brian Kendrick and Kalisto 
who is definitely not in that picture. Can we get him to do like one of the voices of the triplets of the ducks? Like we got a Huey here. We got Dewey who will play, get the... Uh, Tabby Von Meow. That'll play him. And of course, mm -hmm. uh, Louie is gonna be the spy. And that's where we get a reversal. Oh, what are you thinking? Ooh. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? Well, we, 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 these kids, we're going to get them in the cartoon stage. They're going to grow up with these characters. They're going to love them. And then finally, when they're 40 and they're watching a movie with their own children, Dewey pulls the mask right off and betrayal beyond betrayal. I like that. Brilliant. I like that. And they reveal themselves to be... Funaki. Funaki. Indeed. Funaki from the from from the WWE. We got the weave tie-in. Yeah, we uh Yeah, yeah, the WWE weaves. Yeah, yes. very famous. Yeah. Very, very yeah, no, it's a good demographic. Yeah. Uh yeah, we get Funaki coming out of retirement. Um well let's see here. Let's see. Okay. So we're trying to get the kids, all right? We've let them all in mm -hmm. through all of this journey. Many, many properties, all right? So we got the kids, we got Funaki as the big bad. I think you know, we're kind of deep in. What about a reboot? Oh. A reboot mid-cycle? It's never been done before. It hasn't been done before. I'm here for it. But I think... No one can stop us. And no. I think we can reboot the whole thing. And who better to carry it on their shoulders than Funaki? <laughs> Funaki goes back, gets the original encyclopedia. No Within his way. size 12 hands. Yep. Rewrites history. Oh. Funaki and finds is something. out. At the beginning of it all, was <laughs> Deep, Deep Roy, Roy. <laughs> the deepest, the one at the Deep. center of it all, Roy, so deep that we didn't even know he was there. From the 2009 film Star Trek, kids today saying Deep, the Deep State. No, it's all about Deep, Deep Roy. Roy. <laughs> Who? Are well, the kids today saying that. Yeah, yeah, right, cool. You know, and we get them in there. We get, you know, yeah, I'm thinking merchandising maybe uh, oh, around Deep Roy. We get some Roy toys. Yeah, love a good Roy toy. Love a good Roy toy. You yeah. like a good Roy toy? Everybody loves a Roy toy. Everybody Roy loves toy. a good Roy toy. Yeah. Absolutely. One second, I'll be right back. <laughs> this is one of the Everybody. Best, this is one of the best meetings we've ever had. I, I, think I absolutely think so. I, I'm so excited I forgot my own name. Now, we get Roy toys in here. You know, they all have, they have to come with accessories. I think, uh, you know, Roy can't recreate the universe on their own. He no. needs a, a, a pantheon, right? Mm, Especially mm, with, the, mm. with the incredible weight of uh, might of Funaki trying to wrestle the very seed of the cosmos uh, away from Deep Roy. How many in this pantheon? Oh, I would say at least five. All Can right. I, I mean, Deep Roy literally means first, or like, profound king. So, yeah. Yep. That's what I was thinking. The god of war. Yeah, would be Papa. Absolutely. Oh, he's seen some shit. Give me, give me other gods and goddesses. Uh, goddess uh, give, of, uh, the time, time, time. The demo man. The, absolutely. The, yes, yes. Yeah, timers. Fuses. Yeah, it's Fuses. all about that. Uh, it's a uh, goddess of, uh, uh, of 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 big harvest. Big harvest. It's beware. Good. Good. Excellent. So, so strong. Uh, I'm just and I'm just throwing this out there for no reason whatsoever. Cocaine and the. The god of cocaine, it's Smeargle. You know what? That makes a lot of sense. Yep. So shiny. Hmm. So who's at the top of the pantheon here? Who's the king of these god monsters? Well, I mean, you know, Deep Roy, but who's Deep Roy's consort? That's oh, yeah, the what? The you got, you goddess of fertility. Bingo. Beef flavored gumdrops. Gum Look, it's just like the Bible says: we come from beef, we 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 go back to beef. To beef, yeah, it's yeah. Meat to meat. Yep. Where's the beef? Right beef. there. Yep. Right there. At the beginning Perfect. of time. Perfect. That excellent. I think we've done some great work here today. I agree. I agree. I can't I agree. wait to make all of this. Someone, awesome. someone was writing all this down, right? Yeah. What is this? Uh, the Watergate? Yeah. I'm sure something's being taped. Great. Hey, please enjoy these stream highlights. Look at all those chickens. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Welcome back to the family jambly. Let's keep playing magic. Are you okay? Did you just wang your knee on the table? Yes. Beautiful. 
Oh. That's what, you know, uh, what, actually, you know what? I'm sorry that happened to you, Caitlin. <laughs> <laughs> so am I. You're delegating the change. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. Thank you. <laughs> Hello. I can heal you. Sweet. <laughs> and like that, it was gone. Oh my god. <laughs> I shouldn't have looked. <laughs> All but 50 copies of Hoonie Pop is weird. <laughs> Hoonie Pop? Yeah, it's banned on Twitch. Is Honey Pop banned on Twitch? Yeah, isn't it Hoonie Pop? It's, it's Honey Pop. It's Honey Pop? I'm pretty sure. Is it Honey Pop or Hoonie Pop? Why is it Honey Pop? It's H U N I. Yeah, honey. There's not two ends though. Oh God! Yeah, try and quote that one, chat. The Black Sarcophagus, the Elven Necropolis, is a blighted place. Infested by an evil malice called Alfarag. Alfarag? Alfarag. Alfarag! It's my favorite Ace of Bases song. I killed the wolf with a gun. Oh, wait, no, it's sign, not sun. Fuck, that joke's yeah. terrible. Yeah. Hey, we there she is. And they show in feet already? Game good. I'm a crack this door open with no oh, action points. To to <laughs> oh, <laughs> buddy. Hey, whirlwind targets. I found the key. <laughs> <laughs> I need a fucking second because now brain is out of vampire and now it's starting to think about. Have you played the fucking half moon games? The trilogy? <laughs> Fuck <laughs> you. Anyway, yeah, sorry. Just yeah, yeah. Here we go. Of... Here we go. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Like, Wait, no, no, I got this. I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Okay. Oh, uh, hold on. Here, we'll just... I just gotta... Just lick it. Oh, here we go. There. You know what? There we go. That... Yeah, there you go. Yep. There once was a show on Twitch TV, and the name of the show was Crossing the Streams. It sometimes ends with a sea shanty. Blow me, Twitch chat, blow. I'm Ben, and joining me is James... What up? And Cameron, who is hosting the ghost of Adam Savadan. God! <laughs> Check yeah. it out. It's so yeah. small in here. <laughs> <laughs> when the alternative kid goes down the slide. <laughs> that's, why I, that's why I try not to have fun. <laughs> So the, the Half Moon Transformers games are uh, absolutely fantastic. Hmm. Um, there's still a small part of my brain that's just thinking about Transformers and how I didn't buy a couple of limited edition toys I saw at Superstore the other day. Anyway, welcome back to Dice Friends. Uh, you can start that wherever you want, Paul. Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, good. Professionalism. I also don't have a way to kick it yet. Okay. What the? What? <laughs> what? Oh, opponent, no. Opponent. Oh, no, opponent. sweetie. I mean, she did have to deal with him. She clearly did not know anything. Well, that's so good. Okay, it's a cooking show. No one's just peeing for no reason. <laughs> well, I could get up, but I'm real comfortable here now, so uh, you mind, him, yeah? No, not at all. Please go ahead. Great. Snack Faden, the greatest muncher in the multiverse. <laughs> yep. We're sticking with that one, Cameron. That's what I said. And that's what we're sticking with. Oh, Beege. What do you want now? It's a lot of quests. Benevolent leader, don't judge me. Don't you dare want to eat poop. No, Beege. Bad, Beege. Bad. Um, Beach is in the bathroom and he told me never to knock on the door while he's in there ever again. <laughs> oh, a quest. Hello. Chalumbo. Bow down, Joe. Benevolent leader, don't judge me, but I've always wanted to eel- No! 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 I don't want to make a teat sandwich. <laughs> it's too late, you've already done it. And is carn soup just carn bath water? <laughs> <laughs> Back in the old days, whenever anime wanted to show a disgusting food thing, it would usually be 
like pieces of food thrown together and then bits of tentacles coming out of it. Oh, I thought you were referring to the actual tentacle scene. Yeah, no, no, I, I, I'm very much trying not to talk a lot about Sakura's <laughs> particular uh, various routes because they're not pleasant. Because the Fam Jam is family. That was my Vin Diesel, we, yeah. by the way. It's your hate's family. It's all about family. It's all about family. How do you give him halfway do? through the impression? I, oh, that's Dude, the just, man, this impression sucks. Hold on. You gave him halfway through the impression it's to say family. who you were impersonating. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Kim. God, I've always wanted to do this. <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> They gave me a target. Amazing. All right. Uh, they're going to die before you get the chance. No, to... I'm going to respond to the trigger. <laughs> ah. This is how we play magic. Wow. Right, we got the Chivo, and I got the win. <laughs> Hooray. You ever just play a two man and dome yourself for two? <laughs> All I was trying to do was pay life so I could die. I opponent. needed to get the achievement. I didn't mean to be on my opponent, but. Uh huh. Oh, hello. Good day. I'm gonna go the opposite direction from you. Because I believe in the power of splitting up! Oh shit, I shouldn't have split up. I'll hide in this tree. Zombie can't possibly come up here. Oh god! Alright, Hi! <laughs> it can't possibly be a room full of poop, can it? Yeah, it's just a room full of poop! Oh, thanks. I hate it. Oh, God. Why? <laughs> oh, thanks. 69E? Uh, Six yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's my name. 69E. 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 You know, I. No, no, oh, God. Oh. Bring it back. Now no. I will be 69E. <laughs> this is a butt. Come here, you. Stop running away. Okay, now finish me off. No, no, no! Come here! Hey! Hey! Get your ass back here, Tap! Tap! You finish me off right now! Tap! Heal me! Heal me! Heal me! They make it look so easy. Look at everybody. Hanging out. Ooh. Hey, there we go. Yeah, there, there's, there's somebody who wants to be on camera. <laughs> we flew Andrew all the way over from from, uh, yeah. from Vancouver yeah. to to answer this. Yes. What is the most universally most loved flavor of chip? All dressed. Oh. Universally. Universally most though. All dressed. No. Most the United States barely even has all dressed. Barbecue. Oh, that's they strong. They make it for Barbecue. prison. What? Specifically. They, yeah, we each went on a big long rant for it. What? I can tell you. They make all dressed for it, like, as prison chips? Yeah. Heather's done time. <laughs> well, that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> If I stare at you hard enough, does it simulate the uncomfortable feeling that you want? No, because I know you. I could change that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> what is that? What does that mean? Like, it's dark magic. I can't divulge the secret. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to put us on break and I'll be right back. Don't go away. If you hear weird noises, ah! that's just me changing things. Before you edit the ear, it looked like a mid sized sedan. <laughs> I'm never coming back! It's your show! I'm under the desk now! <laughs> You're just gonna do the rest of the show from under your desk? Maybe. Welcome to Can't Draw Horses Club. I'm your new host, Angel. Corey is dead. Protected. Wait. I have infinite bombs. Hold on a second. I do not have infinite bombs. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it's a bad attack. 
Much better. <laughs> God, I have no idea what just happened. Welcome <laughs> to Track Talk with Ben and James. Hey. I'm Ben. I'm James. Today we're going to talk about physical activity. It sucks. It's the worst. Keep going now. Why does anybody do this? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, this has been Track Talk with Ben and James. Woo. I was Ben. I was James. <laughs> I'm going for it. He takes 17. Don't worry. I've got the power of God and anime on my side. And a, <gasps> an extra heal just in case. Fuck. So during the revolution, the, uh, the uh, uh, a regular guillotine, you know, would be used on the bourgeoisie. But of course, this is of one-fifth size, <laughs> so it would be used for the petit bourgeoisie. <laughs> well, speaking of uh, wastebaskets... <laughs> Uh, right? that's yeah. where, um, the Playboy ended up. Oh, is that what we did with it? Well, okay. <laughs> I trust you, Chad. You're a bold man. I, <laughs> I mean, I can't do anything about that, unfortunately. I mean, I could grow this out and just have a... No, bold man. Oh. Draw, if you draw a mountain, this hand is kind of absurd. Mm hmm We go, like, mountain... Swamp, actually. If we're just asking. if we just have everything. <laughs> just play the land. Just play the land. <laughs> we're gonna call that a show. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Uh, please learn something from this. <laughs> I don't know how to end this part anymore. Hey, we didn't cut any of ourselves. Oh my gosh, no blood. Yeah, I came like I came pre-cut. Oh well, I mean, that's how they. That's how you do it. I mean, we should do that with the wood next time. We should sell some Ouija boards. <laughs> Did we not sell Ouija boards? Not that I know we of. Call them Lurgy boards. Lurgy boards. Oh, that, no, wait, hold up, <laughs> no, no. All right, everybody, everybody, take that one out. Heather, yeah, edit that out. Oh, we, the, none of this part makes it to YouTube. Oh, it doesn't? No. No, oh, sick. This is all just bonus. Hell yeah, brother. All right, okay. Another day, another doubloon, huh? I mean, they're all going to clip it. Yeah. So maybe it'll make it in highlights. You have to talk to Corey about that. Oh, okay. I'll slip Corey uh, some weird indie game and, you know, <laughs> you know that's, that's this how I'll buy her off. Like, here you go, here's some weird... It's like Dwar Dwarf Fortress, but even weirder. And she'll be like, ooh, okay. Yeah, she'll snip out the clip. Oh, right. This isn't a pre record. It <laughs> <laughs> got Beej's ass. <laughs> Top notch. All right, bye. <laughs> Bye! I got pizza on the way, let's go! That was so smooth. Hello! Welcome now to this. I'm very excited for this. <laughs> I do want to mention also uh, those booster packs we opened in the last segment uh, were sent to us by uh, Rex, aka Zazamost, The Bear Bee, Popper Plebeian, and Justin Lake uh, through various ways, mostly mail time. And I forgot to uh, thank them for their contribution. Now then! If you uh, are uh, someone who finds that they spend their time scrolling through TikTok, I'm sorry. Um, I'm right there with you. But if you, specifically you, watching us are someone who finds your time scrolling through TikTok, chances are that the algorithm has decided that you probably also like things that we like, such as Dungeons and Dragons and food. Well, and this is more of a need, but <laughs> I'll let you decide which. And so you may have indeed yourself stumbled across uh, Roll for Sandwich by Adventures in Ardeal. And Corey's just wanged her knee on the table. Are you all right? It's a good one. That's getting me in a hungry mood. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a series where uh, this, this, this man by the name of Jake um, you know, uh, as he says, let's fate decide his lunch. 
uh, to varying degrees of success. Um, <laughs> but it's it's a lot of fun to watch. Earlier this week, actually, uh, he was uh, duetted on the app by Lizzo of all people. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. So you know, remember us when you when you blow up. Um, but basically, I uh, reached out to Jake and was like, "Hey, uh, you know, I love this idea. Uh, we'd love to do this as a bit on on Loading Ready Live. Uh, we, you know, would you be willing to to uh, collaborate in exchange for being paid with your time? Because unlike <laughs> late night talk shows, we actually pay people when we use random clips of stuff on the internet. The Tonight Show." <laughs> Uh, those sorry. metrics aren't sorry. Me. It was ten years ago. Sorry, yeah. I, I should I should really move on. Uh, and so uh, that is indeed uh, what happened. So uh, we have three sandwiches prepared by uh, by Jake for us this evening that are going to be consumed by uh, by these folks. So actually, first of all, uh, oh no, right, yes. Uh, first of all, we have let's uh, let's let's say hello. So let's uh, you know here's the to to fill you in. Good evening, fans of D&D, Loading Ready Run, and beyond. And welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where normally I let fate decide my lunch. But tonight, I'm going to let fate decide your dinner. Let's go. So, when you said, Jacob, did you want to come by for dinner? Yeah. This is not what I had expected. Oh. But you've seen the TikToks. Yeah. But... I all right. I mean, I'm here, Obvious. and I'm hungry. Obviously, I would never do something like that. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, in the spirit of uh, rolling for sandwich, we're also going to roll for who's going to have what. We've got three sandwiches, but we have yet to assign the sandwich. So, uh, let's find out who's going to have sandwich number one. Mm. One, two, or one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. All right. Okay. Sandwich number one goes to <clears throat> five, six. <laughs> Corey. <laughs> Oh, I'm ready. Let's take a look. <laughs> let's take a look at your sandwich. All right. First up, let's roll for bread. Six honey wheat. Pretty safe right. start. Nothing to worry about so far. All right. Let's roll for our main. Eight corned beef. Not bad. Not bad. Let's keep it rolling. Now for the cheese. This could go bad. Three vegan provolone. Vegan cheese can vary pretty wildly based on brand. So hopefully you got something good. Next up, 2d12 roughage. One lettuce and four pickled radish. All right, well, pickled or fermented things go with corned beef, like in a Reuben, so not the worst roll. Next up, wild magic. 17 chips. Potato chips, corn chips, whatever you have. I love them on a sandwich. They add a great crunch. This was a good roll. And last but not least, it's the d20 sauce roll. Ooh, four Nutella. Well, you can't win them all, but at least this time, it's you and not me. <laughs> oh. So, oh, yes, right, we have it prepared. <laughs> we have these. Uh, you, you sure we can't just leave it in a list form on a video? No, we'll just put this right here oh. until we find out what the other sandwiches are going to be, and then we can all, then you can all, all enjoy right. them. Did, did you fluff the meat? Uh, we, <laughs> no, we sliced it off the thing, you know. Got to pay union rates for that. <laughs> James spent a lot of time doing uh, doing ingredients shopping today. So uh, we have two more sandwiches. Who's on the next sandwich? I guess we've got one, two, three, mm -hmm. and four, five, six. Let's find out together. The guy only rolls fives. You're right, <laughs> Jacob. Here's your sandwich. <sighs> All right. First up, let's roll for bread. One pancake. I have not had the best luck with pancakes, but hopefully you have better luck than I do. Mm. All right, next up, let's roll for our main course. Eight corned beef. All right, corned beef and pancakes were in the breakfast zone. That's okay. So far, not too much to worry about. <laughs> now for the cheese. Four Jarlsberg spread. Cool. Okay, veering right. away from breakfast, but savory cheese spread should be pretty good with the corned beef. All right, now for 2D12 roughage. Double ones, extra lettuce. A Great. double lettuce roll is probably the dice god showing you a little bit of mercy, so I would take it. All okay. right, and time to spice things up with a little wild magic. And in this case, literally with salt and pepper. Again, mercy. Ooh. Last but not least, we've come to the d20 sauce roll. Oh, let's make it. 
two, Vegemite plus butter. Oh. Don't know if you've ever had Vegemite before, but in the right context, I think it can be pretty good. Oh, My cool. predictions here are very savory, very salty, but I think this one will be okay. I mm. think you're full of lies. <laughs> oh, God. God, this is the <laughs> Thank you. cursed <laughs> bow. Double lettuce. <laughs> We did toast the pancakes. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you. I that is that is a mercy. Oh boy. Uh, and the last sandwich is for Ian, but I'm gonna put the. I'm gonna, yeah, can you roll yeah, just yeah, just in case? Just let's just sound. Two. All right. Okay, right. Two. That's, that's my number. All right, Ian. Let's see your sandwich. All right. Let's kick it off with the bread roll. <laughs> Three cinnamon raisin. Don't worry, that's not a death sentence. If I've learned anything from 70 plus sandwiches in this series, cinnamon raisin bread goes with more savory sandwich fillings than you would expect. All right, let's roll for main. Three, chicken. In my opinion, this is a strong start. Chicken pairs well with fruit. In fact, you'll often see people adding things like grapes to chicken salad. Next up, let's roll for cheese. Six, brunost. Brunost is sweet with notes of caramel, and it's traditionally often eaten with jam, so I think it's right at home with cinnamon raisin bread. All right, on to 2D12 roughage. Seven red bell pepper and 10 pickled garlic. All right, not the best, but not the worst. Red bell pepper is sweet, so we're staying consistent there, and pickled garlic is a lot tamer than just raw garlic. I, garlic Next up is good. wild magic. Two, extra sauce. That's a rough one. That means we'll be rolling two dice on our next roll. <laughs> All right, here we go. Double D20 sauce roll. <laughs> one ketchup and 11 Italian dressing. <laughs> well, as much as I hate ketchup, I think that this will be an okay sandwich for you. It could definitely have been worse. This, if there's one thing this man and I, I agree on, it's ketchup as the, as the critical failure. Oh, yes, boy. as the devil's sauce, I believe. We have one more, one more. Uh, well, adventurers, the sandwiches have been rolled and your fates are sealed. Let's hope your stomachs are resilient. Roll a con save. Ah, <laughs> my face! <laughs> Why didn't we have someone here to just toss us a d20 <laughs> on oh, screen? Great, great thought. So, uh, Corey. Uh huh. Oh. Oh, the chips. Oh. You can really hear those chips crunch. Yes. <gasps> oh no. What? You guys got the corned beef from the can and not the corned beef from the slices. Oh no! What? This is hash corned beef. Oh, that's corned beef hash. That's corned beef hash. Oh, so I am uh, so less excited for you both. Uh, show camera seven the cross section. That's an important step in the process. Indeed. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm a sandwich with Nutella on it. <laughs> I'm a little moist. <laughs> Enjoy. Good. Good luck. All right. <clears throat> oh, it's got the vapors. Oh. <laughs> There's because we made all three of these just now, so it smells amazing down the other end of the moon base. <laughs> For those who haven't, we we can really hear that crunch. Oh over, yeah. Oh, on, mm. the, on the microphone. For those who haven't seen uh, Roll for Sandwich, of course. Uh, the participants here will be obliged to uh, uh, rank and name the sandwiches after consumption. It's no, I'm so not, sweet. No, I'm not eating one. Why, why, why might I not be eating one right now? <laughs> <laughs> you went back for a second bite. Well, generally, he finishes the sandwiches. There is, there is lunch. Yeah, but... The, yeah. Still... Admirable. That one seemed like a very Ian sandwich up until the sauces. It was. Yeah. 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 It's, yeah. I feel. I, I, I feel like the sauces were like a betrayal on on almost all sand. Like the sauces were where things went wrong. Some of these, some of his sandwiches, turn out startlingly good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, sterling. Yeah. Some of them, very bad. Very bad. But any, they're all unique. Any of the eight or aboves, I would happily like actually just eat. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, I give this one like a five because it's mostly confusing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like the number five. <laughs> what a good confusing sandwich. Yeah. Yeah, it's because like the cheese makes a barrier between the the meats and the the chips covered in Nutella. 
And then there's like just the sour note from the, the pickled radishy stuff. Mm -hmm. Which goes well with the sweetness, but... How's yeah. the vegan provolone? Jake mentioned, you know, mm -hmm. there's a wide range of quality and uh, how, how good the vegan provolone could be. It's kind of flavorless. Fair enough. Hard, on yeah. par for saputo uh, provolone, then. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I feel like any delicate flavors are probably being overpowered by a, a lot of other stuff. Mm -hmm. Are you getting any of the Nutella? Yes. Okay. <laughs> That's the, the dominant. Okay. All right. The dominant feature is sugar <clears throat> and then crunchy. Oh, gotta wow. give it a name. Yeah. I'll name the sweet child. <laughs> Yes, sweet child of mine. Yes, that's it. The sweet child of sweet mine. Child of mine. <laughs> it's like a stand naming competition. <laughs> the sandwich is my stand. It's a projection of my particular soul. I should wipe the knife down before the next cut. That's a good point. Uh, not that we have paper towel handy, so I guess we won't. All right. Yep. May I? Yeah, please. All right. Please. Oh, Lord. Well, I was really excited for corned beef. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> no. Okay, so do you, uh, the difference between corned beef and corned beef hash... Okay. Uh, corned beef hash comes from a can. Yeah. It was put there by a man in yeah. a factory downtown. I'm aware. Uh, and it's got some corned beef in it, but it also usually has, like, potato and is highly salted. Uh -huh. It is salty. It's meant to be fried. <laughs> yes, yes. Yep. And this is... Rock and hash. Let's see that. Let's see that cross section. <laughs> yes, indeed. Oh. Oh boy. What does that say to you? <laughs> it's like a zucchini Your... burger. Uh, sh sure. Yeah. You know what this says to me? What? G good luck tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Here we are. Oh, Can that is. Can a sandwich tell the future? With 100% oh. accuracy. I can smell the salt. Yes! Oh my god. Actually, yours has salt and pepper on it too. Oh it? my yeah. god, it does. All right, here we go. A double lettuce. Oh, yep. and Vegemite. Yep. You've got like a quadruple salt <laughs> on a pancake. How you doing, my friend? I will say, you know, we didn't... You know, when James and I were putting them together, we, we were fair. We did not use the Vegemite as an excuse to just go ape shit with the Vegemite. As you would not want to. Yeah. Are you sure? I thought. How much is a usual amount of Vegemite? Oh, um, none. Yeah. Uh, well. <laughs> oh my god, I can't, I want to cry, but this is saltier than my tears will be. Um, oh my god. Oh lord. Okay. No. Oh, 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 I can. I'm breathing this sandwich. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Oh god. The wafting's doing a lot. I. Oh, I. I'm so sorry, man. Um. Okay. So it's, it's definitely salty. The initial flavors before the salt just kicks you where God stitched you um, is actually very good. Like, it all goes together very well. Like, um, <clears throat> the, uh, the, I forgot what the sauce was. Uh, Jarlsberg spread. No, no, that's the cheese. The cheese is a Jarlsberg spread. Yes. The Vegemite was the sauce. Yes, okay. So the Jarlsberg spread really just kind of binds it all together. This is... Which is like shredded Jarlsberg cheese, uh, red onion, and mayonnaise. This is very, very savory. Uh, the pancake... <laughs> does nothing. Is there? <laughs> hint of vanilla? The pancake is exists. There, yeah. if, in, if it's a hint of vanilla, I cannot read that sign. Um, it's, it's, I, mm, but it is very tasty, but I cannot tell you how, like, I can't describe, I, like, you could name a city in Utah after this. Like, it could fill the whole fucking lake. Like, this is, I'm going in for another one. Because well, I need to be sure. Thankfully, you don't have to name a city in Utah, but you do have to name the sandwich. Mm. I can start looking if up you, cities if, in Utah for you if you need. If you can, if, if you, you can bring yourself to do so. If, if your brain just isn't shrinking as we speak. <laughs> 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 in 
internet comments. Oh! Because it's salty. The, the previous high bar for saltiest thing. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. What is your uh, ranking out of 10? Honestly, it is like a tasty sandwich. Except for the salt. <laughs> <laughs> like, if it were just half a, three fourths not as salty, it would be very good. So I'm going to rate this at about a seven. Wow. I would rate this as a seven right. because if there is a way to take the salt down in this, this is a good sandwich. That's amazing. I am, I am. It's got a great mouthfeel. I am enjoying eating it, and then the salt hits, and I regret it again. So what the? Why not? All right, <laughs> Ian, Graham. I'm excited to see this. I am curious. Uh, Bruno's is a weird item. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've actually uh, received uh, requests from people in chat to uh, consider making it uh, on Tinker Tailor's Salt or Fry. Really? Yeah. So uh, I Me guess this will be an introduction to whether or not I'm doing that. So that is a kind of cheese? Oh, kinda. It's like a it's like a homogenous block. I, my understanding is it's made from the leftovers after you've made the cheese, and then it's uh, it's it's made from whey that's been boiled down. It looks like caramel. Yeah. It, yeah. It, it, because it's caramelized whey. So let's, let's crack that open there and have a good look at the uh, the cross section. Hello, gorgeous. You know, it doesn't it doesn't look bad. No, we no. we did also toast the yeah toast the, the raisin. And I, I appreciate that. I, so I, I, sorry. I think a crispiness in the bread really. <laughs> How was that, Jacob? Makes it salty. <laughs> not, not better. No. <laughs> oh. So what have we got here? We have the chicken. I was expecting also a, a maybe a chicken breast rather than a uh, like a full chicken breast. Just, oh, Jake tends to use deli meat, so I went with you know we went with uh, with deli meat. It's to be fair, Jacob or uh, James got the can of the corned oh. beef because he thought that these were being made on camera mm. and it would be more entertaining to see the kind with the key yeah. and, the uh, thing yeah, and, and all that. So that's that's why the corned beef uh, is the way that it is. Buying us some corned beef next week, by the way, Corey. Let's see how this does. Mm. It's got a nice. Uh, honestly, the uh, I, th I think that the the ketchup is mixing. Now, what was the other sauce? In Italian there? dressing. Yeah, that's what it's mixing with to make sort of barbecue sauce flavor, which is going to go really nice with the uh, chicken. Um, it's one of those ones where it's like, what is the you know what's uh, it's like Red Robin's special burger sauce or something is actually just ketchup and Italian dressing. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm. Mmm. 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 Okay. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> so commentary wise here. Yeah, please. <laughs> the chick the sandwich is aggressively fine. Okay. <laughs> okay. I think the uh, okay. Okay. I think the toasting is a bit too much for this one. I might want to take that back just to a regular, <clears throat> a, a flat bread with the the, uh, the the, but the the sweetness of the uh, the raisins is good, and the sweetness is what's really pervading the sandwich, but not overpowering, which is important. I mean, it's he mentioned that might be the case, and you know he's done enough of these. Mm -hmm. He was like he was like now cinnamon raisin is not a death sentence. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> is that? Is that a pepper? Mm -hmm. right there's a pepper. There? Yeah, these, these are fresh Good. peppers, I'm not grab grab roasted. So. Just because there's a little bit of water in here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, we're, need to... we're gone. Oh, yeah, we could have got water. I would like to have added a mustard, but that wasn't in the cards or in the dice for <laughs> No, it so. certainly wasn't. <clears throat> uh, same thing with onions. This could really do with some sort of something uh, astringent just to set it off from all the sweetness. But other than that, I'm actually really enjoying the sandwich so far. That's great. Mm hmm. And I think what I, I, you know what, I'm actually going to even rank first. Okay. And I'm pretty hard on my sandwiches because I like a good sandwich. But I'd call this a, a, an easy 7.5. Really? Yeah. This is this is not a bad sandwich. And I would actually put this on a uh, on a deli menu at like a, uh, I mean, not a high-end deli, but you know, if you're, you're going to, <laughs> it's a place, a place you go for a cheap lunch. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. Things get th thrown together. <laughs> Joe's back in the truck, $5 yeah. Sammy's. It's going to be, a, this is going to be the barbecue chicken surprise. <clears throat> the chicken, not the chicken surprise, the chicken is the chicken. The surprise is that uh, there's no barbecue sauce or barbecuing 
anywhere near this. It's just the Italian dressing and the ketchup makes it. And the cheese. Oh, right, and, and, the, and the brunost. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. That's almost filling the mustard roll, but not quite. It's really? really mm. Fascinating. Yeah. I remember in Red Dwarf, there's a section where, where R- Rimmer's complaining that, like, Lister makes a sandwich, and he's like, why, what? Everything in this sandwich is objectively wrong. Oh, <laughs> shoot, I just hit the garlic. This goes up to an eight already. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah. I, I forgot about the pickled garlic. Yeah, I had, I'd had. i forgotten about that, too. I obviously hadn't hit one yet, and there it is. And uh, yeah, that's great. Wow. Amazing. All right. What's that? Secret garlic. I want to try everybody's sandwich. Oh, sure. Oh, heck yeah. Go for it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't want to. I do want to try yours. Yeah. OK. Yeah. Go nuts. You got that knife? Can we cut that in half? Go Ooh. for it. Sweet. Me? If, if there are any that like one cuts a, easily, at least. If, if there are any deer around that need like a salt lick, to <laughs> support them. Get ready for a sandwich that tastes like barbecue, but has come nowhere near the Maillard reaction, <laughs> except for the bread. Sweet, true. You know, All there's, right, a, there's enough, that back in there. There's enough of this one to go around. So I'm, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm kind of curious. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's everyone's favorite bit. Watch, loading, ready, run, eat. Mm-hmm. What the fuck? <laughs> Did you get enough of the uh, cheese and, and garlic? You know what? Um, do it. What? Run? Swing day. Hmm. Why? What? What? No, man. What do you think, man? What do you think of that one? Before I have it. Boy, it's a shame about that Nutella. <coughs> yeah. Wow. Mm. No. This is good. Mm-hmm. Like, this is straight up good. Mm-hmm. That's amazing. Yeah. Like, straight up good. Well, finish what you got in your mouth first. Are you going to try the salty pancakes? No, <coughs> no, I'm good. I'm I'm fully satisfied with my, my one shocking oh, discovery the, today. Oh, Okay. What'd you think of the salty pancakes? <laughs> Internet comments. No, oh, that's actually like that's real decent. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <gasps> oh, I don't like this. I don't like that much at all. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I'm I'm reserving a piece of uh yeah, pepper right. to get that out of my mouth when I'm done with it. <laughs> what did you rate yours? Like a seven? I think it was a seven. Let's I mean, because try. because Man. I like the, I actually like really like the, the potential. Yeah, I like the flavor of it. <laughs> oh, oh, it fell apart. Whoops! Oh, well done. Oh, a shame. Right, I don't see what everyone's complaining. It is clearly below the lethal limit for salt. <laughs> no, no, I'm not provably. <laughs> oh no, I got. I'm. I'm. Yeah. All right. Uh, cheers. Oh no. This is the uh, the yeah, this uh, is sweet my sweet yeah, child. Yeah, my sweet child of mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm putting, the, I'm putting the Nutella on top of the mouth so it doesn't. I don't think it's going to make a difference. <laughs> well, the Nutella's going to find its way there. <laughs> yeah, that the Cory sandwich is just confusing. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. Yeah, you just go through several thoughts of what and why and then what. And then, then the ever popular, what? Why? Yeah, this is like a Lunchables where the like the chocolate <laughs> portion escaped. Yeah. <laughs> the plastic melted a little bit, mm-hmm. and then everything sort of sluiced in together. Mm-hmm. And there's mm-hmm. a little bit of the a little bit of the plastic. Yeah. Or like one of those old TV dinners where like the brownie oh, just gets on everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, I've always wanted a gravy covered brownie. <laughs> oh. Um. I. This it feels like like a Linder Balls uh, uh, slut era. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what a great sentence you've invented! <laughs> oh, I can't have another bite of that. This out. hasn't been touched, right? No, uh, no, free. no, go right. nuts, man! Right. Please, I want to try this. I, I, it, actually, that was good. So I'm gonna have another best, bite of that again. Supposed best sandwich. Uh, Oh man. 
Oh. Yeah, I. Mm. Yeah. Here's the thing. I like corned beef hash. Not in this form. Wow. Like, wow, what the? Wow. I right? know. It's super surprising. Wow, that really sneaks up on you. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, a sandwich like, should. Yeah, what the? Huh. <laughs> and, what? Right? It sneaks up on you, but with like this shouldn't be allowed. A cup of tea and a blanket. <laughs> it's just like I'm ah, gonna sin. get you. Yeah. And then it hides you in like a storage case, <laughs> yeah. off, off scene, off the other people's patrol route. That sandwich did roll high for stealth, Bite Caster. You're right. <laughs> wow. Wow. All right. Well. All right. That. Just, just to quickly uh, recap, what, what were the names of the three sandwiches again? Sweet Child of Mine. Internet comment. Barbecue chicken surprise! <laughs> it has to be said like that, too. Yeah. Surprise! I think, apart from, I would have rated Jacob's lower, but otherwise, I think the ratings were, uh, were pretty solid as well. Mm. Oh, right. boy. Uh, we having some more of that one? Well, uh, I just some, got of it, some of it fell out. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah. no, thank you. It all. Yeah. Thank you for pointing that out. You're welcome. <clears throat> well, that was delightful. Uh, thank you, Jake, for nope. <laughs> Adventures Nardi in chat. No one expects the barbecue chicken surprise. <laughs> exactly. Oh, thank you so much for putting that together. That was super, super fun. It was uh, it was great working with you on this. Really appreciate it. Would take yeah. your rolls again. Yeah. One hundred percent. And if you uh, want to make it yourself, you you could go back and look at the vod. Yeah. And uh, check out the ingredients. Uh, also, be sure to check out. Uh, adventuresinardia.com or uh, sorry rollforsandwich.com I believe oh no Jake I'm sorry it's one of those I think it's rollforsandwich.com um, Adventures in Ardia on TikTok uh, if you are uh, upon the TikToks it's great it's, uh, he posts sandwiches several times a week I believe it's Monday, Wednesday, Friday yeah. a roll for sandwich on Twitter yeah as well yeah mm -hmm. yeah oh. Um, oh good awesome one of our uh, one of our mods has got the has got the link tree as well so uh, yeah oh. and they're here yeah, and hey. yeah, they're here in chat. So hello, Jake. Oh, um, yeah, that was uh, <laughs> was some, some great belches happening. <laughs> I want to sweat, but I can't. <laughs> I'm <Nothing> sweating. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. All right, that <laughs> that brings us to the end of uh, of another fine evening of delights, <laughs> both edible and otherwise, here on Lunar Ready Live. Thank you all so much for joining us this evening. And now this. All right, Ceiling Egg. I've got half my pension wrapped up in you dropping sometime in the next five months. So get your ass in gear and respect gravity.